Hey, it's Maria and you're watching Stardale TV. This episode is a style special. If you love fashion, this show is for you. As we head to the clothes show live with Simple, get a fab makeover from Henry Holland's latest collection, plus we give you some ace tips. Oh, and did I mention we caught up with Kelly Rowland? To get my new outfits for the show, I went shopping with Esme Denters. Okay, so you know I love Lipsy, so I'm here to do a bit of shopping with Esme Denters. So all the stars love Lipsy, including JLS, Lady Gaga, and Duffy, and of course Esme. Let's go meet her. Hi Esme, I'm Maria. Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, this was one of my favorites when I looked into the racks. I was like, I gotta have that, that one. Mm. And so I tried it on, I really, really love it, especially like the studs. Okay, so Stardust TV is all about fame, fashion, and friends. So first up, fame. Um, you were discovered on YouTube, am I right? That's right. Yeah. Will you tell us about it? Well, I started out posting these little clips of me singing cover songs, and, and then Justin Timberlake found me and, and signed me to his label. Ten so, so what happened with that? Did he just call you up and say? He saw my videos on YouTube, and he had his very own label set up, Tenman Records, and he wanted to meet me at one of his shows in Chicago. Is it right that you found Chipmunk via Twitter? Is that, that how you got together for your single? Yeah, that's actually how it happened. Uh, I remember he tweeted about me, and I think he liked Out of Here, my first single. Mm -hmm. And he tweeted that, and I saw that, and then I tweeted him back because I love his music. Mm. And then we kind of decided to do a collaboration. He had this really good song, and the first time I heard it, I was like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And that's how Until You Were Gone kind of started. Um, okay, so what about fashion? You've been shopping at Lipsy today. Can you tell us like what you like about it? I love it, yeah, especially because all the stuff is sort of more dressy, which is great for being an artist, being on stage, and um, doing red carpet events. And I picked out this beautiful, little black dress which I'll be wearing. And what do you prefer, handbags or shoes? That's a hard question yeah. for a girl. <laughs> um, I think actually, probably shoes. These are really cute, right? Yeah, they're really nice. Okay, so what about friends? I travel so much and I'm, I'm away for a long time. You know, I do miss them, but when I get back home, we'll go see the movies and we'll go shopping and we'll do all the kind of girl fun stuff together. So it's good to catch up. I run into people all the time. Like, I love Pixie Lot. She's a sweetheart. I run into her all the time. Justin Bieber, I've known him since he was like 12 and he was doing the YouTube thing as well. So it's really great seeing him do his thing. And uh, yeah, of course, Chipmunk, mm. Justin. So I've been shopping at Lipsy and picked out some cool new outfits. So don't forget to check them out in the Star Plaza. It's as seen on Stardust TV. So don't forget, if you like my outfits from Lipsy, you can get them for your me doll. So that's clothes sorted. Now on to hair and makeup. Here's the Stardust stylist star tips. Fashion. Um, hi, my name's Avni. Today we're going to find out how to get perfect lips. So we're going to do bright red lips today. The first thing we need to do that is a lip liner. It's really important to lip line your lips when you're doing red because it's such a strong colour. We want to get a nice line. We don't want it to bleed. So I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to define the cupid's bow. In the bottom, I'm colouring most of the bottom of the lip in with the lip pencil itself. Now that we've put the lip liner on, I'm just going to blend it in so we don't have any hard lines when we put the lipstick on. And to do that, I'm just going to use a lip brush. Now that all lip is mainly coloured in, it's going to be really, really easy to apply the lipstick. I always like using a lip brush, but when you're using a bright colour, you get a much even finish with it. If you haven't got a steady hand and you do go wrong, don't worry, you can go over the area with a bit of concealer just to hide down the lipstick and then go back over it again. Perfect lips. <laughs> Today I'm here with Charlie, the star or hairstylist. What look are we going to go for today, Charlie? Well, oh, I think we're going to go for a little Cheryl Cole look on you to do a little bun at the nip of your neck, okay? So let's get started, yeah? Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of back coming through the top of your hair, okay? So one, two, three, yeah? Just continue doing a little bit of back combing, just through the back there. Okay, so really gently, just back comb the roots, okay? Just all the way through. So if you just scrape the hair back quite loosely, see, put your thumb under, twist it around. And just add a little bit of spray just to secure. Yeah, just like Shara Cole. Yeah? Do you like that? Thanks Charlie, I love my new Shara Cole hair. From stylist to pure style, 
To check out what's hot and what's not, we sent our simple presenter Susie Lee to the clothes show in London. Fashion! Hi, I'm Susie Lee and I'm here at the Clothes Show London 2010 here at Earl's Court. I'll be checking out more than 200 of your favourite fashions and beauty brands plus all the boutiques. I'll be seeing the non-stop catwalk shows and catching up with the Young Makeup Artist of the Year. Here at the Clothes Show Live, I want to find out how all these fashionistas keep their skin looking so good. I'm with Mia. Have you seen anything you like here today? Um, yeah, I've seen quite a few things that I have my eye on. Yeah, all the summer dresses and bags. How do you keep your skin looking so fresh? Um, I haven't actually got very much makeup on, so I think I just not use too much makeup. I wash my face in the morning with a flannel, just keeping it natural. Just like cleanse it every day. So. Lovely. The Clothes Show is hosting the Young Makeup Artist of the Year Awards, so I caught up with some of the nominees. Hi, I'm with Lorena, the runner-up. Well done. Thank you. How did you create your look? Well, I was inspired by the sea, actually, like different types of sea we have and everything in the, in the world, different colors. And actually her eyes represent kind of that sea we have in winter. I, I want to go for brighter colors because sometimes in winter you go like for darker colors, but I think winter is also a happy season. So yeah, I try to go like reflect that happy thing. Hi, I'm with Eve, the winner. Congratulations, I've got a simple goodie bag for oh, you. Thank you. Very simple product. Thank you very much. <laughs> so do you have any uh, top tips? Top tips, um, conceal under eyes, always highlight on cheekbones, and wear lashings and mascara. Thank Here's you. a simple goodie bag for coming Yay. second, well done. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What's your top makeup tips? Uh, well, actually, a good foundation is the first thing, but never like overloading the makeup. It has to be natural. And most importantly, do you have any advice on how to keep your skin spotless? Always make sure you wash your makeup off. Um, always make sure that you're using a great uh, moisturizer. So nothing too oily for younger skin. So really hydrating for older skins. Hi guys. Yeah. <laughs> I've got some simple products for you. Oh. <laughs> oh, so how did the show go, guys? Yeah, really good. Yeah, um, it's it's good to have like a big long stage that you can. Sort of just sprint off. <laughs> so guys, do you have any skincare tips, routine? So oh, it's a point at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a joke, he only uses simple. It's genuinely Tom uses simple. I'm a simple guy. And then guy. the moisture is a guy in the Simple morning. products for a simple guy. <laughs> so, it's unanimous at the Clothes Show London. To keep your skin looking good, you need fun, fashion and simple spotless skin. It's simple. Right, I'm off to shop. For more skincare tips, visit simple.co.uk. Thanks, Susie. And now it's time for Challenge My BFF. I think this is the hardest challenge yet. We sent Tiggy and Megan to conquer their fear of heights. Friends! Hello, I'm Tiggy, and I'm here today to challenge my best friend Megan to vertigo in the swing. Okay, we'll do that for now, we'll just do this shot and go Very scared, 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 very scared. <laughs> Hello, Megan. Hi. Oh my gosh! How's that? Alright, good. Our next, next challenge, challenge is vertigo. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Stop! 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 How are you feeling? Very good. Really scared? I'm going to beat myself. You're going to do it? We'll walk yeah. up the line. Just count one, two, three, six, one, six, seven. Ready? One, two, three. Tiggy's gonna do that. Hopefully she'll do it. I wanna see her scream.
would you do it again? Yeah, definitely. It was one of the most best experiences of my life. I love the Vertigo, how you could just step off that building and just fall. <laughs> it was really fun. Thanks, Tiggy. Thanks, Dado! That was scary. Now for something a little less scary, shopping. Kerry checks out the latest look from Henry Holland in Makeover My. Fashion. Hi, my name's Kerry and I'm here at Debenhams for the Henry Holland Makeover. I'm not sure about hats. I love shoes. I love Henry Holland so much, I've already got this bag. My fashion tip would be um, that you should always just dress for yourself. Don't dress for anybody else. Have fun, experiment. Don't dress with what other people are going to say in mind. Obviously, I clearly don't do that. Off to the changing rooms. I really like this outfit, but high heels are really hard to walk in. Now to complete my makeover, hair. Well I've heard you want to look a bit like a rock chick, so I was thinking we're going to do a nice quiff on you today and then we're going to put the rest of the back up and I'll show you how to do it really quickly in five minutes, yeah? That looks great. Now let's see the full makeover. Thanks, Starlow TV. Jumpsuits are so in this season, and she looked great. Have you checked out Windows of the World yet? You can see the newest window of fashion from the USA in the Star Plaza now. Plus, next week it's French fashion, which is super stylish. Talking of looking great, we get some style advice from Kelly Rowland. Fame! Hi, my name is Versha and I'm here with Stardoll TV and guess what? I'm about to interview Kelly Rowland. Stardoll is about fame, fashion and friends. I'm here with Kelly Rowland. Would you like to tell us about your new single? Yes, my new single is titled Commander. Basically, commanding the presence, you know, commanding the energy. And I encourage all the ladies out there to be commanders. So if you had a choice to go shopping anywhere in the world, where would you like to go? London or Paris uh, or Australia. Um, <laughs> I have three. I'm spoiled. So what tips would you give the girls out here to be looking good? Like um, I think it's important above anything or what I've learned is it's always important to wear the clothes don't let the clothes wear you yeah. like when you put something on you should be like god I look great in this you know you should even say that to yourself there's nothing wrong with that um, I was reading about um, your charity I love my girlfriends mm -hmm. Could you tell us more, a bit more about that? Yeah, I Heart My Girlfriends is all about female empowerment. It's all about females um, supporting each other. And I get tired of women talking down to each other. Like you hear that a lot of the first thing we do when we see each other is kind of sizing each other up. And I just think that it's important that we support each other and nur nurture each other and love each other. Okay, Kelly, we're about to go get our photographs taken, so have you got any tips for me to be looking good in the pit? You know what? I actually think of my friends back at home. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I think of my friends back at home, and it's always the smile that I like. Whenever it's like a smile that I'm trying, I'm like, like <laughs> I look crazy, my nostrils flare. When I'm thinking about my friends, it's such a, it's a genuine, you know, a genuine thing. And have fun in front of the camera. Now it's your turn to get styling your medal. 
Don't forget you can get all my outfits from the show for your Meadow in the Star Plaza. The next episode of Stardoll TV will hit your screens on July the 14th at 7pm. See you next time.